Good morning, morning Heathlands, and, and welcome, welcome to week 24 of Heathlands at Home's home Extended broadcast. broadcast. This week so far we've had... Dancing to Heal with Wendy and Tai Chi with Annette. Heathlands Quiz of the Week <clears> and Alan won. So, well done to you, Alan. Promise to be on this guy's team next week. Anyways, everyone will have received the activity packs by now. <clears throat> This was our last postal activity book for now, but the activity book may make a comeback in the future if the need arises. This edition celebrated over one year of support from Heathens at Home. The, acti the activity book will be missed, but we will continue with our online content. Bingo sheets, schedules and other items needed for Heathens at Home will be sent out by email. If you haven't received an email address with us already, please email us at heathlandsathome at lbtug.org. Also, our schedule will be changing slightly in the next few weeks, but we will keep you updated on this. Coming up today from Heathlands at Home. On Facebook, 11am after us, we have Dancing to Heal, seated with Wendy. At 12, we have live lunch over Google Meet until quarter to one. Team Bingo with Spiff at 1pm this week. It's Spiff's favourite um, Australia's Deadliest Animals. Coming up right now we have... A guest presenter with an activity to show you. Today we have one of the heads again, but which one will it be this time? Hmm. Hi Heathens. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make magic pictures using a wax candle and some watercolour paint. Now, I did share this activity on the blog last year, so if after watching the video you want a bit of a reminder, you can always have a look at the blog post as well. But first off, let's have a look at what we need. To make our magic pictures, we need paper. I'm using watercolour paper because it's quite nice and thick but you could use thin card. It will work on thinner paper. You just have to be aware that with all the water, it might buckle slightly. You're gonna need either a white wax crayon or a wax candle. I'm using a candle here, you can see. You're gonna need some watercolors or very watered down acrylic paint, some brushes and some water. So now that we know what we need, let's get making. When we're making our magic pictures, our white wax crayon or our candle acts as a resist. So wherever we put the wax, the paint won't be able to go. And you've got to use your imagination a bit because obviously being white, it's not going to show up on the white paper. But that's part of the fun. That's what makes it a little bit magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a shape on here. And I'm going to do a moon shape. So I'm using the bottom of my candle and I'm pressing nice and hard so that I get a good thick layer of wax. And I'm drawing a moon shape. You can't really see what I'm doing, but you will be able to. And I'm going to put in some crossing lines to make little stars like so and it will try one up here so i'm thinking about where my lines are i can't really see them because i'm using wax onto white paper but i'm thinking about where they're going and planning my design as i go now for the magic bit i'm going to use my watercolors to bring my design to life so i've got here a nice dark blue and you remember i did a moon shape so making sure I use plenty of water. I'm going to start putting it on. And can you see where the wax is? The paint can't get to. It's acting as a resist. So I'm going to add a bit more on. And it doesn't matter if I go over my lines. That's how I'm going to find them. There we go. So there's the top of my moon. There's the sides. I'm using plenty of water. And I'm using quite a nice thick brush so that I can get plenty of paint on there. So you can see my stars coming out. So those were the lines that I did. 
There we go. And I'm going to use a different brush and a slightly different colour. So remember I said I was thinking about where my lines were going. So although I couldn't see them when I was drawing, I was thinking about where they were going so that I could have a bit of a play with colours. So I'm putting in a little bit of yellow for the moon. And I think I'd like a bit more variation in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of purple. And um, thinking about our colour mixing rules, to make purple, we need a blue and a red. So I've got a little bit of red on here, a little bit of blue, a bit more blue, make a nice dark purple. And I'm going to add that in, let it mix in with my dark purple. Get a little bit of a different tone there and there we go easy as that magic pictures now if you're not very confident about being able to make a shape there's no reason at all why you couldn't do something really abstract you could just work your way around your bit of paper making some vaguely circular shapes like so so I still can't see what I'm doing, but I know that I've got some circles on there. And then what I can do is pick a colour and start putting it on. And then where those shapes are, they start to emerge. And then I might have a different colour. There we go. And I think we'll have a bit of green in there. And so you can see those random circles that I drew ever so quickly are starting to show up as I add my lines of colour. So don't worry about being able to draw something. You can still make really nice effects just using a random shape and some different colours. Have a bit of a play around, have fun, and don't forget to show us how you get on. As you've seen this week, we had Helen Walsh making magic pictures. Coming up later this week... Nick with his Football Fanatics live social group is on Thursday at 1.30. Also on Thursday, Maria will be back with a workout session at 11. Ethan's book club with Jeanette and Susan is 4.30 on Thursday as well. On Friday morning at 11, we will be showing a classic exercise session from our archive. Also on Friday, we have Ethan's live with Spiff, Mark and Helen. Hopefully, as part of Ethan's live, we will be able to tell you more about the schedule changes coming up. Which brings us to the main event of our Ethan's at Home podcast. The highlight of our week... We have another awesome new book to read to you. And today's book is since the dinosaur that pooped the bed was so overwhelmingly received positively, it's making a comeback. The dinosaur that pooped a pirate. Yay. <laughs> Danny and Dinosaur sailed out to sea on a ship that was crooked and old, with a map in Dan's hand of a faraway land where a pirate had hidden his gold. They sailed all day with nothing for lunch, not even a sniff of a snack. They searched high and low but found nothing, and so they are going to have to turn back. But just as it looked like they'd have to go home, Danny held up a scope to his eye, and on the horizon, he spotted Skull Island. And so, land ahoy, Danny cried. Yo-ho, land ahoy, land ahoy, Danny cried. Danny hoisted the sail, Dino steered with his tail, and they anchored their ship by the shore. This is it, Danny cheered, the treasure is near. 
and then jumped off the ship to explore. But while Danny studied the map to the gold, Dinosaur's tummy was rumbling. There's no time for that, we must follow the map. Tell that belly of yours to stop grumbling. They followed the map through the wet sloppy mud to a place known as Crocodile Cave. Let's go in, Danny cried. There's treasure to find. We're going to have to be brave. Yo-ho! We're going to have to be brave. Danny crept past the crocs with their razor-sharp teeth. They were open and ready to crunch. His nose in the map, Danny didn't look back to see Dinosaur eat them for lunch. Next on the map was a mermaid lagoon. Mermaids magically tempted them in. Danny put on his trunks and he felt like a hunk, saying, Dinosaur, come for a swim. Yo-ho, you have to come for a swim. But Dinosaur knew Danny was under a spell, but this place was too good to be true. So before Dan could say that he wanted to stay, Dinosaur drank the lagoon. <clears throat> Next on the map was a grand pirate ship that was stranded in Barnacle Bay, and the pirates on board were incredibly bored until Danny heard one of them say, Yo-ho, there are trespassers coming this way. They loaded their cannons and readied their plank. This swash, these swashbuckling pirates were angry, but horn-swoggling crooks with no teeth and sharp hooks are no match for a dino that's hangry. Dan studied the map and they followed the trail, crossed the bridge made of skeleton bones, charmed the venomous snake, swam the sharks, sh swam with sharks in the lake, and took a selfie with old Davy Jones. Leapt to a pile full of spikes, cartwheeled over some crabs, flew with parrots down Buchanan Falls. But with eyes on the prize, Dan did not realise that his dino first mate <clears throat> ate them all. Yo-ho, his dino first mate ate them all. Now, reader beware, our sailors have reached the most treacherous part of this tale. For the X on the map <clears throat> where the treasure was at was inside the mouth of a whale. <laughs> But the map was a trap, and the whale went snap, and both Danny and Dino were swallowed. Oh no, both Danny and Dino were swallowed! There was treasure alright, jewels and diamonds galore. They were sparkling as bright as it can be. But there's no use in gold if you're stuck growing old, in a whale on the bed of the sea. Yo-ho, so Danny had treasure for tea. I know what I mean. It was stinky and icky and smelled very fishy. And so Danny started to cry. Their only way out was through the whale sprout and they couldn't reach. It was too high. <clears throat> but with pirates and mermaids inside of its gut, the dinosaur knew what to do. Oh, no. After such a big feast, to escape from the beast, the dinosaur needed to... <laughs> they blew out of the spout 20 leaks in the sky and escaped from the whale in a flash. The poop powered player plastered poop everywhere <laughs> as the dinosaur's bum made a splash. He dropped off the parrots at Bune Cannon Falls and plopped the crocs back in their cave. The mermaids were pooped into Mermaid Lagoon. Danny blew them a kiss and they waved. Yo-ho, they blew them a kiss and they waved. Skeleton Bones and old Davy Jones came tumbling out of his bottom. The lake that he drank was now brown in its sand. 
<laughs> like a nappy that had been forgotten. <laughs> he pooped piles of pirates into Barnacle Bay. <laughs> then squeezed out their ship for good measure. <laughs> they were brown head to toe and a little cross. So the dinosaur pooped out the treasure. Hooray! The dinosaur pooped out the treasure. <laughs> They crashed on the beach where this journey began. The hunt for the treasure had beat them. Let's go home, Danny cried. Just relieved they survived, and the two of them hadn't been eaten. Dino hoisted his tail, and his wind filled the sails, and they headed towards the horizon. They stood on the deck and would never forget the adventure they had on Skull Island. Yo-ho, then Dinosaur pooped out a diamond. It seems to me that the, the dinosaur saves the day by... Never mind. Anyways. Anyway, we are back again the same time next week. Hope to see you again next time. Bye. Bye.